Alright. So where are we heading out to for dinner tonight? We're going to go to the Devon Inn in Tempted Lantine. It's just back. Okay. It's halfway between here and Abbey Field. You obviously came to Abbey Field yesterday when you got to New... What time did you get to Newcastle West yesterday? Oh, uh, the sun was getting low, but it hadn't quite set. Uh, I so forget what time it was. About four o'clock. Yeah, yeah that oh, sounds early. about right. And did you get a lift direct from Killarney down here? Or? Uh, no, it was... Uh, you had a few stops, had you? I got a lift from Killarney to... Um, Farn 4, probably. Is, is there another place? Castle... Castle Island. Castle Island, yep. Yeah. And then I got a lift from there, from two guys going all the way to Dublin, actually. Yeah, oh, very good. Um, and I decided to... I knew you weren't here, but I decided to get off in town and check it out. Yeah. And then I was potentially going to catch another lift at the end of the day. Um, but I, was, I had some tech problems, so I just ended the stream a little early and uh, camped out in town there. It's a, it's a nice town. Oh, it's a good town. It's the yeah. county town of Limerick. County town of Limerick. And what is that? The, the main town of the county. Oh, okay. We have a city as well. It was a, you like, have a county town, which yeah. is the west here. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest town in the county. And the then city has Limerick is of about fifty-five, between fifty-five and sixty thousand. The city of Limerick. The city of Limerick. Yeah. Is about seven thousand here, I'd say maybe. Yeah. About they are the castle grounds there. Castle grounds. The castle is. You've seen the castle, have you? Indeed? Yes. Yeah. And what time did you leave for a deer this morning? Uh, I didn't leave till probably close to close to noon. So I was in town in the morning, just grabbed a bite to eat at uh, just the service station, on like a gas station, oh, yeah. and the coffee, and then hitchhiked two rides um, to, a deer, a deer. to a deer, and then one ride back. A deer is a nice town. Yeah. It has a lot. You have the manor there. I don't know if you went out that far. Did you go across the bridge to the Mag, to the river? Uh, or did you just stay in the I did. I did cross the the river to check out. There's a castle there as well, but you That's couldn't right. access it. It's closed for the uh, winter. For the winter, and then I went. Uh, I went to the, the the manor there to see if I could walk on their grounds, and they said I couldn't. Uh, but said maybe if I go to the golf course, I can yes. see some stuff. Uh, but it was very clearly marked, no pedestrian access. For golfers only, so I didn't feel like breaking any of their Stay rules. Away. Yeah. Um, the the type of broadcasting I do, like streaming outdoors and stuff like that, has at times a fairly bad reputation. Uh, people are just doing crazy stuff for views uh, yes, and yeah. being like obnoxious or, or rude to people to for other people's entertainment. Um, and I try to be different from that. I try to follow the rules as, as I go. I try to be respectful of everyone as I go. Um, just because I don't think it needs that. Um, We're going west out of town, but I've decided we'd come out to this hotel. West out of town. Okay. okay. How many kilometers is it it's to? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. You know, it might be slippery. So what were you what were you back in Dingle for? I went back on Thursday. Yeah. 
to eat Thursday night and last night. Thursday night and last night, it's, okay. Uh, two interesting people, a guy who works in ground control at the airport in Shannon. Okay. Who is madly, madly, madly in love with a girl from California. <laughs> yeah. Laura, and her parents are Armenian. Yeah. And she needs to come to Ireland. She needs to get a visa. So yeah. Obviously they want to go have it. Mm-hmm. So, Quite interesting. We had a good fun on Thursday night, and they were out and about again last night. And whatever way she did her booking, she booked for tonight rather than for last night. So they, they were to stay tonight also. Okay. It was a lovely, lovely couple. It was really entertaining. So you met them at a pub. Pardon? You met them at a, a pub I in Dingle. I met them in the Foxy John's pub. Okay. Actually, Foxy John's. Would have been a very interesting place had you gone in there. Mm-hmm. I don't because it's one of those pubs that hasn't changed in a hundred years. Oh really? And the, a very old uh, husband and wife owned it. Okay? Mm-hmm. And she brought her nephew there when he when the husband died. Yep. And she continued to control the place until she was well into her nineties. So yep. obviously she didn't want change. And it was all this brick a brack for sale on one side of the pub. Yeah. And okay, Nothing. Uh, it was never modernised. Okay, when you go out to the back part of it, yes, mm-hmm. the toilets and all that are quite into the present period, but not the main bar. Okay. No, that would be interesting. It would be nice to have gone there. I thought maybe when I, I sent you an email yesterday because I thought maybe you could go back to Dingle and then I could bring you back, but you had other plans and other things to do. I. Uh, yeah. I, 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 every day I, I usually don't know what I'm going to do that day that's what uh, right. <laughs> you don't know where you're going any yeah. road will get you there exactly and I think that's a very great motive to live with uh, yeah I really like the lifestyle be, be of living like this right now when you need to be organized yeah but don't organize yourself unnecessarily yeah I, I, I don't want my whole life planned I uh, I do like the randomness the uh to me, it's interesting uh, not knowing what's going to happen every day. Did you see the crowds? Did, were, did you go out on the street on New Year's Eve in Dingle? I did, yes. I was out on the street. And it was packed, was it? It, it was packed. And then, and once, especially once it got rung in, like the whole main street was, you couldn't even walk through it. It was, uh, you had to fight to, to get it anywhere. Not <laughs> literally flight, but you had to be kind of barging through people just to get anywhere. You can see why. I don't stay there on the thirtieth. <laughs> uh, like not, to some people, that's very fun. That's not oh, no, exactly no. my no. normal like what I'd be interested in on a day-to-day basis. But it, it was fun to. It was worth seeing. Exactly. Mm. Now, uh, Saint Stephen's Night. There's a tradition down there, the twenty-sixth of December, that they follow the wren. The wren is a little bird. Yeah. Okay. Saint Stephen's Day, it was cut the furs. Furs is gorse. Yep. Okay. But in Dingle, it's about the only place where the tradition is continued. They, they follow the run from 6 a.m. on the 26th, the day after Christmas. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, the, uh, the uh, streets are thronged with straw boys and uh, uh, rain by groups, as they call them. Yep. All day, right up until midnight that night. It's a very, very busy day in town, but some of the pubs don't open, understandably so. Because it gets messy late at night. Yeah. There's a house here where they turn on Christmas lights for charity. They have a, a daughter with uh, an invalidity. Mm-hmm. Okay? And every year people go there to see these lights. Now, the lights will go off on Monday, I think, because tomorrow's the 12th and final day of Christmas. Yeah. I've noticed Christmas keeps kind of going after Christmas Day. It feels in North America it ends kind of after Christmas Abruptly, Day. Yeah. yeah. And that has happened here. Yeah. In Ireland at one point, Christmas didn't really start until uh, Christmas Eve, really. You yeah. had a lead into Christmas, but the real action was Christmas Eve right through until the 6th of January. But okay. Now people have got tired of us from the 
27 or 8 of December and they start taking down Christmas trees early. Yeah. Do you still kind of celebrate it until the last day of Christmas? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, up to a point. Yeah. What I usually do is go away for a week before Christmas. Yep. So I think I told you I went to Malaga on the 11th and came back on the 18th. Yep. Last year I didn't come back until the 23rd, but I went somewhat later. Okay. Now we're at Denver Road right now. It's, yeah, about 10 kilometers. Have you been to this place for... Uh, oh, yeah. I yeah. to come here. Well, I haven't been for a good while. But I used to come here quite a lot. Okay. Seems a busy place. That's not, yeah, it's busy. Okay. We can turn around and face for back for Newcastle West. sure uh, how much longer I'll be here I still have to make my uh, my plan for leaving and where I want to go from here I think I'd like to stay by land if I could uh, like ferry rather than taking a flight oh yeah but we'll uh, I'll Makes see sense. yeah well, you can go from have you done Wales have you done the south of Wales that's what I haven't done yet so I, well, I might go oh uh, Ross Lair way maybe and take ferry to is it Fishguard I would suggest that yeah Have. Ancient monastic. Okay. I yeah. would suggest you go that I'll tell you I'll give you ideas as to where you might go. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Oh, yeah. 
This man is hitching around the world. Oh yeah. So oh, tell nice. him about your uh, experiences when you were hitching. Oh, you've done, oh, some, you're hitching huh? you've you're done some hitching yourself. You've done some hitching yourself. I have. What, 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 I'm back in the middle. Right, just now. Right, I'm telling no tales. Telling no tales. But what's walking? What's walking? What's walking? What's walking? What's walking? What's walking? Am I, sir? What's walking? What's walking? What's walking? Just checking. Check. Uh, I show people what hitchhiking is like in 2018, 2019 now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, past nine months, I went through all 50 U.S. states, all 10 Canadian provinces. Picture nothing. Picture nothing. Yeah. Picture nothing. 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 Well, we can cut money for the lunch. We can cut the camera. So, how good then? Hey, how's the father? I've had her. Yeah. Hey, and you. And you. Who's the country? India. Huh? What do you mean, Canada? America? What do you mean, America? No. Hey. 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 Travel down over Canada's way. Talk to her. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Oh, definitely go and talk to her. Yeah. Come down here with me in a minute and introduce you, you know. Yeah. This man is doing a survey from Canada, and you'll be able to talk to him about Canada. <laughs> he has traveled a lot. You will show sure this sister in Canada. Sisters in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the West Coast, near Vancouver. Oh, Nova Scotia, other coast, other coast. Yeah, that's the East Coast. I'm from the West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a big country. Right? It's 7,000 kilometers from one coast to the other coast. So it, it takes a bit. Like Nova Scotia is probably 6,000 kilometers from Vancouver. Yeah, it, it's quite on the East Coast. Uh, a kind of uh, thing in hitchhiking, is it? Sorry? What are you doing then with the cameras? So, you're so, so I show people what hitchhiking is like in the modern day and age, because not too many people hitchhike anymore. Uh, so the last nine months I went through all 50 US states, all 10 Canadian provinces, and now Iceland, England, Scotland, and uh, Ireland now, to show people that it can still work, and that right. it, it can be an interesting way of traveling. Right. Not to necessarily promote it, but just to show people what it's like. Yeah, 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 and I, I try to not put the camera on someone unless they want to be on the camera, that's why it's kind of on me. Uh, but, but yeah, I just, I just show my experience traveling. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Sorry? The man who waited in the county council. Jerome? Yeah. Jerome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they out for night? Yeah, we're finished. Are they after a big weekend? I'll see where Jerome is. They're trying to get me to find people to talk to. Where did Jerome go? Where did I lose Jerome to? Where is Jerome? He's a very social person. He knows everyone. We're walking through here and Jerome's like, Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Where did Jerome go? Where's my Jerome? What do we think? 
Yeah, that is true. Oh, we got a bit of a conversation. Uh, I think she'd been to the other side of Canada, Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah. oh very nice. Yeah. yeah. Quite interesting. We've been waiting about 10 or 15 minutes to get a table. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, 25, 30 years ago, everybody hitched around here. But no one does anymore. Not no one. It's just. Well, they do, but it's not as. Uh, earlier in life than that. Yeah. So are you having uh, some wine at dinner then? Uh, oh wait, well, you have to drive. getting two pints of Guinness, and you see you can only drink a limited amount here. Yeah. Uh, how much is like the legal limit? Like, can one, you have one a, pint? One pint, one is, pint is usually. Uh, uh, yes, and if you're over the limit, you have a problem because you lose your license for three months. Previously, yeah, that's a problem. Previously, the limit hasn't changed. Yeah. Uh, but previously, just you just got points in the okay. fine. Yeah. Now you don't. You still get the points in the fine, but you lose the license for three months. That's which the add-on. Which is pretty severe consequences if you. Oh yeah. If, if you need your car, yeah. Transportation between towns. Major, like major yeah. issue. Um, exactly. In 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 rural Ireland, it's a major problem because yeah. people, connectivity. There's no public transport. Yeah. So from the point of view of connectivity, you need your car. Yeah. No? Which is where hitchhiking used to be. If you didn't have public transport and you didn't have a car, yeah. how do you get to from A to B? You hitchhike. I did that. But no one does it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that when I first started work because you just couldn't afford a car yeah. and there was no transport. Yeah. In, in the uh, 1960s, there was a government policy to take up the railway lines. I, so we yeah, closed down the railway. That, yeah. You may have seen a very famous viaduct when you pass. I did. I, I remember yeah. they were telling really, about that viaduct. Really spectacular yeah. between Kells and Carasabine. Yeah. Between Kells and Carasabine, and there was also one that you wouldn't have seen it near Ballycasan Pier, yeah. which crossed the Loun, the River Loun in Carlton. Phenomenal uh, uh, feat of architecture and engineering to put it there. And, and most those bridges have fallen into disrepair now, which is very, very sad. As they close down the line. And yeah, because done. for the first 20 years, people forgot about them. Mm -hmm. And then in certain instances, it was too late. Okay. And With a, a huge I, investment. I think part of the railway gauge, the railway gauge was taken up and, and uh, uh, sent to Sudan. Okay. It was sold to the Sudanese government. Or they were telling me they were looking at taking some of the rail line and... Uh, Cheers, thank you. Good uh, luck. And uh, Good making it uh, like a bike path or that, something? That is here, and we'll do that tomorrow. I'll okay. show you exactly. There's, that, has, that has phenomenal potential for tourism here in this area. And the future of this area here is totally related, possibly to rural tourism yeah. into the future. Yeah. Because uh, farming has come to uh, into down here we had um, certain creameries would have had uh, 120 people supplying milk yeah. off their own individual land before. Now in those cases there's probably four or five. So you have big combines, people with 500 cows, yeah. where previously you had uh, 20, 25 yeah. food and, and, and milk of in terms of intensity. Okay. That's how life is. Yeah. What we have yeah. for our future generations. I think so. And, and it, it, it's almost rare for people to, to think that far. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, to think that far into the future. Because you don't get to experience it because it's for future generations. That's exactly But people the think about, what about me? We, we live the present rather than uh, prepare for the future. Exactly. Yeah. And it's hard to convince people to care about the future when they might not be there for the future, so they want what yeah. they want right now. Yeah, people can be very selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's never too late, but we certainly the clock is ticking. It, it, wherever we go, you, you just seem to know several people. It is pretty interesting. You just walk into a room and it's, hey, how are you doing? I'm reasonably <laughs> well known, put it that way. <laughs> well, I think when you go into public life, that's of course. That's a follow-on. Yeah, of course. How, how long have you been, oh, you said it was 2004? 2004, you have okay. a good memory. Right. Yeah. 
2004. Were you any kind of public office before that, or was that your first? No, yeah. no, I worked in the financial services sector prior to that. Oh yeah, you were there. And I There's was very fortunate something. because yeah. I worked quite a, for quite a number of years in the city of London. Yeah, so I'm saying that. Had, I don't want to describe it as high powered, but very interesting uh, work uh, and uh, life there. Yeah. Uh, I, the organisation I worked for had 27 outlets in the UK, mm -hmm. and I was in all bar one, so I was in 26 of them. I used to do systems operations work, so basically when I would come to one of the uh, offices of the bank, I, you looked at their workload, the number of people they had, yeah. how they approached the work, yeah. how things might be done better, and implement change. And most of the time, implementing change meant reducing the number of people employed, which is an unfortunate part of yeah. how life was. Mm -hmm. It was quite interesting. So, is, yeah. in, when I used to go to the north of England, they used to say, oh, hatchet is coming again. <laughs> you know what a hatchet is? Uh, yeah, yeah. An axe. Yeah, to, to cut so expenses. So, it was a question yeah. of who was going to fall under the axe. Possible. Sign of change. They were worried of what might happen yeah. as a consequence of my visit. And I used to normally say, particularly when I went to Liverpool, because Liverpool was in the throes of depression in the 1980s, Manchester to a lesser extent, and Birmingham was. Mm -hmm. uh, when I'd visit those places, I, I would say to them, oh, you arrange rent a mob today. Because we would have an idea of the transaction level, the activity level from the various reports we saw. Yeah. And usually when I came to visit, the branch would appear to be busy than I expected it to be. <laughs> so the comment was, who organized rent a mob? <laughs> Oh, that is interesting. And then... Can we sit down? Sure, yeah. Then is your position an elected position? Or it is, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is, how is campaigning for that? Because it's never even something uh, oh, I thought Oh, it's very, very interesting. We had... It's That's something I haven't had to in really Vancouver, do. In would you have a water bill if you were resident there? I think you would. Yeah. Right, in, everywhere in the UK we were faced with water bills. But the government here made a... Oh, I see. Yeah. But I had a very interesting experience with a gentleman of very rural water, generally speaking. Of course, people don't want to pay in more. In the country, there's two very different views on water. Rural people felt everybody could pay for water child in a household per annum is an allowance, okay. even though you paid for the excess. Okay. I think to be true. I came out from under a low door and straightened the oh, yeah. yeah. And I had Eamon with me in this particular case. Not not him. Why not? What? I thought. Register, okay, consider voting. No, we're not voting. Your government is proposing to give 38,000 litres of water to in Washington. And while that's Because of that, sorry. Inside. Sure, thank you. <coughs> While that's happening, I will vote, was what the gentleman said to me. Okay. So I said, ah, oh, that's a pity, I said. Why? Did you see that water trunk over there at the end of that shed in this yard? Yeah. There were seven of us reared in this house. Every morning we were washed in that trunk. I checked, you can you get the marked register after elections, I always make a point because then I know who did and who did not vote. Yeah. Okay? And you have a fair idea from the register. You know what vote you got in the, that register, so you have a fair idea as to who may not have voted for. No. One other teat. Alright. I will see what. Are you a steak man? 
Uh, I am a not picky man. I eat everything. Yeah, well, have what you want now. Perfect, I appreciate that. Do you know what you'd be having? Do you want something for starters? No, you decide what you'd like to have now, and I'll decide what I have. We can do that. Yeah. All right. Before I, you have been here a few times. Oh yeah. What do they do well? The steak is very good here. The steak is very good. Steak here. person. Okay. Uh, lamb can be good. Everything is good here. Everything is good here. I okay. really recommend the steak. You'd really recommend the steak. Okay, if you're pushing the steak, I might not be able to turn that down. Do you like chowder? I do like chowder. Yeah, well, consider that for the start. <laughs> a chowder to start, that's already hearty. Uh, no, it isn't. No, no. You decide what you want to start with. Perfect. I'm going to have the uh, mushroom. Maybe you might prefer mushrooms. Uh, for the starter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mushrooms are good. Uh, golden crumbled mushrooms. Anything. There's Perfect. cheese. If you like cheese, you can see what's in front of you. Perfect. Man, I do appreciate that. Uh, when I did stay at your place the first night in Bingo, mm -hmm. since I never have access to a kitchen, I actually decided to buy groceries and, Good man. and, and, and cook dinner. Good man. Yeah. So I, I made a steak and I made a salad. So oh, lovely. Steak Good man. Yeah. Yeah. Which, was, which was nice for me because I uh, rarely get to actually cook anything. And you had the house to yourself that I had the whole house to myself, had the whole kitchen, made some dinner, got groceries. It was a, for me, it was a, it was a very nice change of pace mm. and uh, lovely to have a house to myself, a kitchen, everything. Yeah, so that good. was quite nice. Yeah, quite I'm, glad, nice. I'm glad you made the most of it. <laughs> I did. And I you're did. welcome to go back and see again for another day or two. I do appreciate that. Yeah, you, you can do. Uh, I think it was a beautiful place. And uh, when I, I went to Dingle, I did the Slayhead uh, yes. road, as you told me I should. Yeah. Uh, and my first ride out of Dingle, I got picked up in a motorcycle. Oh! Never been picked up by a motorcycle before well, in my that life. That was interesting. That was very exciting for me. Uh, <laughs> and that's a beautiful road to be on a motorcycle. Oh, couldn't right? find better. Exactly. And so. the conditions were good. It wasn't misty. They were. No, it was dry. No, visibility was good. It was, it was high overcast, but mm. visibility was good. Mm. Uh, so, it, it, it was... It was my lucky day. Did you go back over the Connor Pass again? Do you remember? I didn't know. Yeah. Now, I came over the Connor Pass, I think when I was coming back on the Sunday, the visibility was much better. When oh, I was, was it? Yeah. I've been across it once or twice since. Yeah. Well, I came back on Sunday evening, wasn't it? I left you in the house, whenever. Yeah. Yeah, I was leaving as more or less as you came, as you came to the house. Yeah. And uh, I went back down again on Thursday. Evening. I went over to Connor Pass that evening yep. and I met, let me tell you what it's like here in Ireland, between Akushla and Dingle, two cars coming in the opposite direction, that was all. Really? And not one car passed me, it was absolutely dead quiet. Wow, that's interesting and difficult for what I do if I was on that road on that day. Right? Well, yes, but you would, you'd be surprised they'd still pick you up, whoever. Probably. But that time of night, no. The best time to hitch back there would be early afternoon, early afternoon, because you, we have people that go up there yeah. to get to dinner. I see, okay. And that's that's kind of when I was going to check around that area, early afternoon, with the plan on being back for uh, that night for New Year's Eve. Mm. So, yeah. So what did you do? No, you, you probably got no sleep at all, the, the people in the house, did you? Uh, you kept I awake got, all night? Uh, I gave them all the beds upstairs and they gave me the whole uh, like sitting room, the little living one room, room so the front, I just yeah. crashed on the couch there. Yeah. But, uh, you but I had could, it, couldn't I had, sleep, did you? Like they, they came fairly late, came back fairly late in the night, but um, like since I had that room to myself essentially, you were all right, yeah. I could shut the door and yeah. what, people come in and out. I don't mind small noises here and there, I know yeah. I'm in a fine yeah. spot, so I actually slept pretty decent. I actually slept all right. Good, yeah. Uh, well, you had heat there. That, that was, yeah. Yeah, I had heat. Uh, yeah. I ripped out my sleeping bag for this. Uh, yeah. Because they're using all the sheets and stuff like that, but I'm prepared for this. this is, <laughs> I have all this equipment. Might as well use it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Um, so it was, it, was, it was fun news. And I spent, um, I, I drink back at home, and the bars very or pubs and stuff, so I did especially because I was running the stream and everything, yeah. to bring in the new year and broadcast it. Um, so I stuck mostly to walking around the streets to check out the fireworks that were displayed in town. 
I watched a bit of the parade as we were coming close to, to New Year's, and I'd come back to drink at the uh, at the house. At the as, house, yeah, uh, good, good. The and were there. you on your own having drink or was any of the? I, I drank a bit uh, with everyone there. Oh yeah. Uh, and then they invited me up to the pubs, uh, but I knew I wouldn't be able to continue doing this in the pubs, mm -hmm. so I. Uh, they went to the pubs and I was doing my own thing on the streets mm -hmm. and then I met up with them later. Oh good. Uh, yeah. After after the new year. Yeah. Good stuff. It was a, it was a good night. Yeah. Oh well that's happy good. I'm I glad, got to I'm it, glad, check glad out you enjoyed it. Yeah. Because I was a bit apprehensive about not about you, but about that they might wreck your nights, you know? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Definitely did not. before they come back. I'll get the, as recommended, the uh, the chowder to start. And I have your uh, classic burger, please. All right. Now, once I cut it, Background is a 27 or 28 country. 27, yeah. And he's making a docu documentary. Tell the folks what it's for. What television channel? Oh, it's, it's for Western Call Push TV. So it's just a live broadcast of what hitchhiking is like. So then it's past nine months, all 50 US states, all 10 Canadian provinces, and some Canada. Uh, just to show people what hitchhiking is like in the modern day and age, where not too many people do it anymore. So that's. He's that's trying what to reintroduce it. Oh, well, not necessarily reintroduce it. <laughs> just show that it can still work. I think it's nice. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Have you had the burger here before? Hello, Nora. <laughs> he knows everyone. Today, oh, Nora. Happy New Year. Many happy returns. I didn't even think of your Christmas. I, I don't know. Him. This is a uh, Trevor. I know and Trevor. Tre Trevor uh, is from Vancouver. Oh, oh yeah. You should go oh, Nora. Yeah. You're a real <laughs> Well, I'm traveling now, so I might get Are you traveling to yes. Vancouver? No, not there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nora, Nora had uh, older people that she spent a lot of time with. Okay. So she wasn't free to travel as much as she should. No, I am now. Now she's but available now. to travel. <laughs> What I want to say, I will like keep at it. Trevor, Trevor has hitched time around 28 countries. Or 27. Oh my God. And he's, he's been in Ireland for three or four weeks. Oh, you see that now? You're being recorded on that. Oh, no. <laughs> Picture, that's great. <laughs> when I didn't get to Vancouver, I was in you San did. Francisco. San Francisco, yeah. Francisco? Okay, same coast, same yeah. coastline, yeah. west coast. <laughs> that's a gorilla pod, apparently. Yeah. Uh, the, the tripod at the bottom, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, uh, my goal is to show people what hitchhiking is like in, oh, 20, yeah. in 2019 now, uh, where not too many people hitchhike anymore. And no, I've done it for four years. I, yeah. I don't think it's any more dangerous than no. it used to be. Yeah. These people are more scared. Yeah. They, anything they've heard about hitchhiking has been in the negative sense. That's uh, right. But most people haven't done it. Yeah. <laughs> where I don't think it's as dangerous as, uh, as people might think. As people so, yeah. I've got about 1,100 rides in my life, and I can't say I'm a really right. bad person doing yeah. it. Yeah, that's 
good. That's good to hear that. Anyway. I was telling you that when I started to work, there was no other way, there was no connectivity between Gordon. Kerry and Newcastle West other yeah. than by Hitchin. Honest to God, it is a big change. That's not 50 years now. My God, oh, my God. Um, I know. Yeah. Getting old. But what I want to test you today was when was the European Council elections? What day is it? The 24th of May. Oh, yeah, because I'm trying to plan my holidays. But I'm going to learn lots of now from the 12th to the 22nd. Yeah, Our right. cousins are all from that. At the right time. I'm going to go for my kids to take it over. I've taken lots of money. Oh, they're all in Joe Wolf, Joe Duffy, the other day. Oh, God. They have all in the old town. Do you know now where you should go? Is Malaga. Have you yeah. been to Malaga? No, no. It's a highly underrated city. I'm going over there again. I, <laughs> I got the booking messed up. I booked for nine days, but I can't really afford it time wise. Yeah. I'll change it. But for 20 years, it's playing. cheaper now to get a return flight to mm. Spain than it is to leave the car in Shannon with your way. Is it? Me and my God, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, in China, is this your first time in Ireland? Second time. Oh, yeah. Sure. And where are you in Asia? Uh, Canada. Vancouver. Oh, Western yeah. Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're native of Vancouver, yeah. I met him with this machine on the street. <laughs> yeah. And he had all the Cunningham sisters down with him in the house he was doing for New Year. Oh, for God's sake. You have to go down in a I will, I must go down there sometimes. No, yeah. That's the place to be. <laughs> Apparently it was. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wouldn't go for the, for the 30th and yeah. 31st. I'm too old for that. I went to Waterford for that to get away altogether. Did you? Yeah, I did two, three of us went. Yeah, and Martin was nice. given and upon myself. It was great to be away. Yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't be there for that. No, I wouldn't be <laughs> well, I came home. I was at home at Christmas because Michael went to Castletown. Yeah. So normally I'd go down to England on the 26th. Yeah. But this year I didn't go until the 27th. And my two mates came down that evening. Mm. Uh, something happened. Happened. I thought I'd be down there in the morning. They were nearly there ahead of me. Yeah. I, they came down that evening. They spent three nights, and we all left in the courtyard because what we were in Too our sixties. I know. And I wouldn't want. Jesus I wouldn't Christ. want that. Before we went to down the nights, you now we were decent quiet. No. Once, once Her Majesty keeps paying the pension, I'd be happy. <laughs> be, I live free travel on the first of October. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll have it the first. Of I live free travel now. I'd be like you. I'd be going free and not everywhere. Home stay. Hitchhiking free. <laughs> Sleep in a tent most nights, that's free, except for tonight. I've been spoiled. Yeah, I've spoiled. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're going to have some hand playing cards. So oh, yeah. We always do on the Saturday night. Oh, do we? Yeah. We'll have to come down there some Saturday night. Oh, I think I'll give that a wide berth. <laughs> Listen, happy new year. You're in company, we're distracting you. I know I'm not going away, I went to watch the Monster match and best of luck and enjoy your trip. Cheers, thank you. Hope you get on fine. Yeah. We'll see you now. Slime before. Talk, yeah. talk later. 24th of May. Now, use that bread. With the chowder? Yes. Oh, it is crowded. It is busy here. And the reputation is good. Have you been to the Long Court Hotel? No. Interesting. I've been a few times, yes. Uh, the service is very slow. Uh, the food can be okay. There's lots of money spent in it. The, the hotel is down to a very, very high standard. There's, are you into um, snooker? Steve Davis and uh, Ken Donnerty. Yeah. So if you want to go next Thursday night to the Long Court, you'll be able to. Did you both stay home for Christmas or did you go away? No, we just running the interview. Yeah. <laughs> this year, it's, the lead into Christmas to me was too long and it tended to crash out immediately it was over. I don't know if you found that or not. <laughs> We had Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, and Christmas was still to come. We had four days, and then kind of, as soon as Christmas Day had been, it seemed to, that was seemed to be the end of it, as far as I saw. Apart from trying to get rid of the turkey. <laughs> Did you have a, a big Where family you, for Christmas? Uh, I was in the girls' house. 
They're in the girls' house. Yeah, so yeah. there was plenty there. There's, uh, there are six sisters and four brothers in that family. Oh wow! And their parents. Well, one girl is in Australia, so she was missing. Yeah. But there was stuff. <coughs> there were twelve of us, I suppose. So let me see. Nine and two of them were twelve. Twelve. Full house. So there was twelve for Christmas dinner. Because yeah. I was trying to figure out the relations with the people I was meeting there, and it was like interesting family relations with all the people I was meeting in, in the house in Bingo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, it's out of my mind already, but uh, so I was trying to piece it together. Their cousins would, their, their parents would have been cousins of mine. Okay. I think they were there from three different family. sorry, three different, three different siblings of the same family. Yeah. So, two of my first cousins children were there, yeah. uh, two ladies, and one bloke, and maybe there was some belong to the other brother as well, I don't know, mm -hmm. but there was definitely children of three, if not four or five of them, okay. in that, <laughs> I, I really don't know who was there before. Because, yeah, I, I seen so many people, it was like a, a group of friends, but no, it was mostly related. They were all related. <laughs> mostly yeah. all related, except for a few people, um, which was surprising to me. I assume friends, but no family. That aunt, well, she was the only aunt I had from my mother's side, had, let me see, 10 and 414 and 418, 23 grandchildren. Oh. Which was quite a lot, and she'd only five in family herself. But there was 10 in one family, yeah. two fours, that made up 18, and two and three. <laughs> Wow, that's quite the family. Whereas my grandmother, their great grandmother, had only eight, I think. Only eight. Grandchildren. <laughs> okay, grandchildren. So, so in our case, it's just gone kids, the yeah. other way. It's just grown. Normally, it declines. Yep. So it's just grown. <laughs> yeah. In general, population like in Canada, if it weren't for immigration, population would be declining. Oh yeah. Uh, based on, on birth rates and everything, uh, but we're a growing population because of immigration to our country. But yeah, the general trend is people having less babies, yes. less children. Yeah, having, and, and having them later in life. It's true, yeah. Bye. I'm excited for this lamb. Are you talking to that? I am. I am. I, well, I'm talking to the people that, that watch the, oh, yeah. the, the thing I made. Oh, so there are people watching that. Where? Uh, all over the world. Would you like to know where? Tell me. All right. Guys, where in the world are you from? Where in the world? Country, state, province. It'll take a second. Uh, how are you, can you read the, that rolling through here? Oh, yeah. It's going a bit fast, but we can't slow it down. <laughs> you can pick out things here and there. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. North Carolina, Seattle, England. Washington, yeah. USA, uh, Sweden, Denmark, Canada, Netherlands, Quebec, United States, Minnesota, Colorado, Denmark. Quebec is a wonderful city. Have you Quebec been in Quebec? I have been in Quebec City, yeah. yeah. Uh, really interesting city for Canada as it, it feels kind of European. Very much so. Yeah, which Very in Canada is, is not that common. Major French influence. Of course, yeah. I can tell you two very interesting stories about Quebec. You can, okay, let's hear. We were traveling. Uh, You're stuck there. Toronto. Toronto, yeah. Which was between Toronto and Niagara, the city, down through the state place we were in different parts of the Catskills and the Finger Mountains into Maine and Vermont. Wonderful, beautiful place. Yeah. The color, the autumn color was ah, superb. Okay, you fall, yeah. But it came to uh, we crossed the border. So in sharing the driving, what usually happens, and they were very thorough about checking passports, particularly when you were reaching the state. Yeah. Yeah. And we got through. So, for the final time, we travelled into um, with her on, on the phone well, on the Tuesday evening. Yeah. We travelled across the border, and she said, as soon as we crossed. 
the mortar into Canada, she will ring the Santi Annie. But we, uh, the two passports, Mary had them because I drove them. With the dial code for, the, uh, for this place in Quebec. Yep. And after about an hour's driving, we kept going towards Quebec City, which was about two hours from the border, I think, or an hour and a half. Okay. And we, she kept saying all the time, when we get near the operator assistance brought it in and said, this is the code you should um, have dialed. And we estimated, oh, but why are you in those days? It might okay. only be three now, but yeah. it was a five-hour drive. So this was eight, nine o'clock at night. Yeah. And I said, there is no way I'm going into a stranger's house at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and galleries and all of that. Yeah. But we were not had a few. The food and whatever you needed for breakfast, yeah. but not Dunkin' Donuts. We were continued our journey next day and we had a lovely time. We met the lady two days called and said, I have a problem. I've and I spent an hour waiting for Mary when I got back to her passport check. Two weeks later. That's lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the weather was lovely. Oh, the weather was She's better than that. How, how is your mum? She's coming out inside by the now. Yeah. She's a very good person. I think. My sister is the best ever. I do, yeah. yeah. Well, even that, I didn't know that. No, I'm not doing it. Yeah. We better be careful what we're saying because this man is recording us. <laughs> this chap, a friend of I met down in Dingle, has uh, hitchhiked through 27 countries and he's doing a documentary on the do you have a wicked shark in your town? I work in Beach now, it's very good. Yeah. I still do that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I, I, so I broadcast what hitchhiking is like in the world. This is Canadian. It's all with it. Oh, yeah. 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 But I, I think you appreciate it more if you actually have to put effort in it. Oh, yeah. Well, you You're rewarded for your effort. was stable, but I think we're getting and saturated, Mark. They were at an, eight, at an advantage because they started with a modern hotel. They did. So that did help. Everything yeah. is in place. Like there is with Nora. The house was old. And she was all in Yeah. But now it's good now. Oh, yeah. Because I really prefer 